Hi guys, it's me, Eleanor Evangeline. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite skincare, self-care, hair care, makeup, and other products of 2023. So basically, to sum it all up, I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite beauty products of 2023. So the most overwhelming section in this video is probably skincare. I have a lot of skincare just like around me. My desk is cluttered with like all the skincare and makeup and stuff. So we're gonna get started into the skincare section. Also disclaimer, I'm not trying to brag in all the products I have. This is a video I seen to a lot by creators and it is receiving good attention. So I thought that you guys would enjoy this as probably my first video of 2024, actually. So I'm going to start with skincare. First on cleanser. This is the Laneige Water Bank Hyaluronic Cleanser. I love it because it's super gentle on my skin and it doesn't strip my skin. And it's very soft. It's a very creamy formula. So it's soft and it foams up and lathers really well on my skin and it makes my skin feel super clean. And this is from Laneige. Next, I have this toner from Dermalogica. I've been using this same container for like a year and a half and I've been using this toner for two years. I really wanna branch out and try other ones like the Glow Recipe Toner and I've heard that the Polish Choice Liquid Exfoliant's really good too, but for now, this is what I've been using. It works. This bottle's been lasting for forever. I used to have a travel size one. That one lasted a while. So overall, the Dermalogica Multi-Active Toner. Good product. And I will try to link as much as I can down in the description below. And I am not sponsored by any of these brands. So this is all my own opinions. Next is serums. So I have this Laneige Serum. It's the Laneige Hyaluronic Serum. So this is their Hyaluronic line. But what I really like about this one is like a lot of Hyaluronic Serums, like I have this one, it's clear, right? This one, I'm just gonna do a little pump on my hand, but it has the applicator like the Drunk Elephant that everyone really likes. I love this applicator because I just do. So you pump it out, right? And I like it, it's almost like a moisturizing consistency. It's not super liquidy, it's just like moisturizing and makes my skin super soft. Same with this one, I switched these out. I like both of these. This is the Glow Recipe Hyaluronic one and it's the Plump Plump one. So it's supposed to deep hydrate and glow. So I'll put a swatch on my other hand of what this one looks like compared to Laneige. They look the same, just like matte, all of that stuff. This is the Bioma Brightening Serum and inside of it has Triceramide Complex, Niacinamide, and Hyaluronic Acid. So I just, I love the packaging. I love packaging. It definitely does influence when I buy products. This one is actually from an advent calendar. So I found out about this from the advent calendar. It was the Advent Fun one. I'll put a little card in the corner, or this corner, one of the corners of the playlist of the advent calendar. I did a short every single day. Now for moisturizer, we're hearing from Laneige again with their Hyaluronic Cream Moisturizer. They also have a gel moisturizer, which is for more oily skin or combination skin. I have combination skin, but it's more dry. It does get oily in my T-zone, but this moisturizer doesn't make me oily at all. I don't have that much left because it's my favorite moisturizer. And it comes with a cute little stick that says Laneige on it. So you're not digging your dirty fingers into the pan. I think that's why people really like the bubble drunk outfit like push-up applicator. I'll put a picture up here. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, which you probably do, it's very popular. 
Next for moisturizers, I have this one. I've had it for a while from Elemis. This is the Elemis Superfood Facial. So it's a nighttime moisturizer. It does have a bit, like a very strong fruity scent. So if you're not big on scents, I wouldn't recommend this as super strong. The Laneige does have a nice scent, but it's very subtle. And this is, like the Laneige, I don't think it's an intentional scent. This is definitely intentional. It's pretty, it's a pretty loud scent, to be honest, but I love this. I put it on at night. The scent doesn't break me out or anything, and I have pretty sensitive sin, skin, not sin. Um, so yeah. Um, I have the Hero Mighty Patches. You can tell I'm excited about this one. They are amazing. Like, round of applause. Hero, sponsor me, please. And Laneige, Laneige, call me, hit me up. I'll take the deal, please. First, there are different types. I haven't tried all the types. These are the only types I've tried. I cannot tell you how many packs of these I've gone through. I've gone through amazing, like, amount. It's, it's crazy how many I've gone through. I've gone through, like, 20 million. These ones... They're not completely invisible, but you can see them less. They're invisible plus ones. This one is for after you're done. Like after the pimple's gone, it's just a flat red spot. This helps clear that up. And then have you seen those pore strips from like Biore? I know they work, but they're really stripping and they're not good. I'm not trying to bash, bash brands, by the way. If you put this on your nose, it works like a pimple patch, but it's bigger. Um, so you put it on your nose and it sucks up all of like the gunk in your nose And I do it at night because it's not like super. It's not uncomfortable. It's not comfortable either While well, the pimple back just like I can't feel it and these are definitely very noticeable So I wouldn't go out with this. I normally just do it when I sleep sunscreen This is from the same brand. This one's kind of old. It's like separating, but I love it It's the super group glow screen in golden hour and I have this sunscreen stick. The next thing in the skincare department is this is kind of on the line between skincare and makeup. The Drunk Elephant B Goldie Drops. Last for the skincare, Vaseline. I know people are on Aquaphor. I've never tried Aquaphor, so I don't know. Which one's better? This has helped to repair my skin barrier. I sometimes slug and put it on my face. Helps my lips. I put it on pimples. I put it on wounds. Overall, good product. I've used a good amount so far out of my tub. It's gonna last for a while. Inexpensive. Good. Okay. Now for body care. This one isn't really body care. Touchland hand sanitizer. I love their hand sanitizers. Their sugar scrub. I know people like Tree Hot. I tried it once. I honestly didn't like it. It's too fine of a scrub for me. It doesn't really like scrub. Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. Scrub you like too much in my opinion. So I like the Dr. Peels. I love the Method Body Wash. I've used so many of these been using them for two years since the start of middle school. Great stuff. This is the white gardenia scent. Smells like flowers. So pretty. Moisturizing. Smells good. I get so many compliments when I'm wearing this. Smells really good. But for perfumes, Sol de Janeiro. Love them. This scent, probably my favorite, 68. Had it since Valentine's Day, still going strong. 62, I got these two around the same time. Got this a little bit before 68, but I use 68 more. This is a newer one, haven't had it for that long. Probably had it for like a month or two months almost. This is the After Hours. This is actually probably my favorite. But this is like my everyday, because I know this is limited edition and I don't think they sell it anymore, so I don't want to use it up super fast. 
this one so good it's the big size so it shows that, so it shows that I use it a lot more than like the other ones it's really good now for hair care I use the function and beauty shampoo and conditioner from Target well I get them from Target in wavy cuz wavy hair it makes my hair so smooth and soft and not super frizzy so I really like it I also use their leave-in conditioner for wavy hair because yeah I also use the Specifica scalp oil I put it on before I wash my hair makes my scalp not dry cuz I scalp I struggle with dandruff and this has really helped through winter and when my hair needs some reboot rebooting like fixing I have this Amika superfood hair mask it works wonders I put it on before I shower and then I wash it off my hair is silky smooth and I used it and I got so many compliments on my hair so it's a good product now for the makeup section so for concealer I love the Kokosis concealer it's buttery, goes on nice, like, you can't go wrong with Kosas Concealer. Elf Setting Powder works really good. I like it better than Maybelline personally with their setting powders, but super good. This under eye brightener, I use it for my under eyes when my under eyes are not having a good day. Bright brightens it well. Low coverage, so if you're looking for a high coverage something, I would go with the Kosas instead. But this is really good. Gives me an under eye glow. Overall, good product. This is the Rare Beauty Highlighter in Enlighten. Super shimmery, highlighty. It's a good product, I like it. My favorite mascara, I've tried so many. I've tried Sky High, I've tried Colossal Ilia. This is the Better Than Sex from Too Faced. I also like the waterproof one. This is the applicator. For blushes, these two are very different, but I love the Milk Makeup Blush. Now this liquid blush, Benetint, stays on all day. You can use as a lip tint, so pretty. Now for the last and final category, is lip care. I have two things in my hand. These are my favorite lip balms slash lip gloss. The Dior Lip Glow Balm in Raspberry. So very pretty. I wear it in like basically all my videos, all my occasions. And then the Dior o Lip Oil in Raspberry. This is my dupe. My real one is in my purse, which is like over there, and I'm too lazy to go get it. So I'm not saying I like the dupe better. I don't like the dupe, it's really bad. But this is holding in place. The real Dior lip oil is so good. And I have the raspberry shade. Scrumptious. I really like it. And it's pretty, so yeah. Neige lip mask. Famous on TikTok. My all-time favorite. I love Laneige. Their lip products are so good. Love. Buttery, creamy, goes on smooth. Love it. So those are all the products that I have used in the year and loved. I've used more, some I didn't love. These are all the loves. Also, if you notice anything different about the sound or quality, that's because I got a camera for Christmas. So, this is my new camera. If I keep looking over here, it's because I can see myself in the screen right there. But this is like the lens. So, sorry again about my voice. It is recovering. It was going strong at the beginning of the video. The end, it kind of just is raspier now. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.